Yeah. So, um, is that right if I sit here? Is that too close sure. for no, you're COVID fine. reasons? No, you're, you're fine. All right. So this is Jay. I'm Jeff. Um, we can talk to each other. We don't have to talk to the camera. But so um, you have one minute to think about that question. What do you think happens after this life? Um, what's your initial reaction to it? And then I'm going to ask more questions like, how did you get to whatever you believe about it? How did you get there? So, so you don't have to give a speech. I'll I'll ask more questions as we go. But so, what's your initial response to that? Uh, to what happens after this life? Yeah. Um, I can never give a definite answer. I feel like after this life, you're born again as someone new. Okay. With no memories of who you were before, and you. Very much like this life, except you're uh, you're experiencing yourself from a different perspective than you did in the previous life. So, is it? Uh, would you do you feel like it's here again on yes. Earth? Yes. Okay. All right. So reincarnation, basically. Yeah. Something like that. Do you do you think that that self is? Um, I guess because when you say no memories of what you were before, would you still be the same person? Not necessarily. Well, like you'd have a different yes, name, right? Maybe yeah. a different family, different situation. It'd be the same consciousness. Yeah. Maybe not necessarily. Uh, see, to ask if you'd be the same person, like the person is built by their experience. Exactly. And That's why I'm saying, like, if you have no memories, yeah, it's like clean slate. Mm -hmm. so, so it's like, in that sense, you like the lens that you see the world through. Uh, it changes, but it doesn't. What doesn't change is the fact that it's you looking through this lens. I don't know if that makes any sense, but <laughs> I'm trying to picture it. Yeah, yeah it's like, uh, like, do you, do you do you think um, do you think you'll take anything with you from this life to the next? I think if I think if you do, you won't know that you took it with you from a previous life. Yeah, because like you probably don't remember your life before this one. I'm, I'm assuming right. you think that, you believe that you had a life before this one, right? Right. But, yeah. Like those instances of deja vu. Yeah. So there's that. Yeah. Those kind of, that make you feel like you've been here before. You've seen something before. Yeah. But you can't be sure. You know, yeah. You know, it's <laughs> However, I do have to say, so, so a lot of people talk about deja vu, and but the thing is, if we live a different life, we have a different situation. It wouldn't be deja vu because it's not like we're living the same life over right. again. Yeah. Um, but I think what what you're saying is you remember similar situations, yeah. right? Yeah. And uh, it's like I'll just tell you my belief on that is that that uh, we dream every night and we're constantly dreaming and thinking of different situations. And so I think that I'm just reliving a dream. But have you ever had the situation where you had deja vu so strong that you could almost predict what's gonna happen next? Yes. Yeah. Yes. I have to. Now that I can't. That's scary. That, I, I, I could not could never <laughs> explain that. But yeah. that, I've had that happen. It, not, not often, but when it does happen, it's... It's like, I know exactly. It's like shit in my psychic. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it doesn't happen too often, but so so Jay, um, so you believe in reincarnation? Uh, do you get that? Like, where? When did you start believing that? Like, um, I think I started. Damn, maybe I was about twelve. I'm twenty-two now, so uh -huh. I was probably about eleven or twelve when I uh, first started believing that. You know, coming to understand that. Uh, Energy can't be created or destroyed. Yeah. Because it's always here. Because Probably it's always here. And you're always here. Point. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like it take energy takes different forms, but it never it never leaves. So it's not. So you didn't get it from say a religion. It's more from science class, really. Mm. Or just logic, like yeah. common sense. Yeah. Right? Like I wouldn't even. I, I honestly wouldn't even lay too much too much of it into science class because uh, that is 
that kind of an idea. Because I spent a long time, uh, you know, yes, as a kid, you question everything. Uh huh. I had spent so long questioning. That was, yeah. I guess you say you said it. Logic. It, that's what appealed most to me. Yeah. As far as uh, an answer I could give myself for the immediate. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it does make sense that like that spark. We know that there's energy within us. It must have something to do with our consciousness and, uh, and and then we find out that energy doesn't you know it does change form so okay so when I die it doesn't go anywhere it, it just turns into something else right? yeah I so I've been asking people this question a lot for a long time and uh, there's definitely a pattern of more and more people believing what you believe as far as the energy thing maybe not the reincarnation thing necessarily but the energy not changing or not being just created or destroyed, but just continuing on in a different form. Yeah. And uh, and I've been curious, like, where do people get that? And I'm concluding that, like you, it's like it's like a, the next step of logic from hearing that truth, yeah. right? And it's like, okay, so I must exist. Now, do you do you believe in God or a higher power? I, I believe in a higher power. Mm-hmm. I believe that I do believe in a God. I, I can't uh, tie. I can't really tie myself to a specific religious uh, sect, but I do believe in God. I believe there is some higher power that's responsible for all living things being mm-hmm. here and being what they are. Okay, so a creator. Yes. Yeah. And uh, but so but not necessarily the Christian or Buddhist or right. Hindu God. Um, but a creator, as opposed to us, the creation, right? Right. And so, if, so if um, if we were to divide everything between creator and creation, it would just be God and everything else. Does that make sense? Yeah. God would be the creator, like the God would be the initial being that always somehow the initial spark, I guess, the initial, yeah. the one that started it all. Yeah. Yeah. With that, I, because of that, I, that's why I feel like God could also not be very separate from us. Not be? Yeah, not be separate from us. Uh-huh. Uh, being that, I guess uh, in Christianity they teach us that we're made in His image. Yeah. But if we are made in His image, that would mean... That yeah, what do you think someone, that? I, I feel like us being made in his image means that someone no different. There, there was a spark to this that's no different than you and I, than yeah. you or I. That where, whoever that spark is, or whatever that spark is, is what you can call God. Yeah. So sounds like you have like some kind of a church background, or no, no. You know enough to know that we're. It says we we're created in God's image. Right. Have no, you I studied didn't. religions at all, or done anything like? Do you feel like you've you've searched for answers, like actively searched and read, and you know done your your homework on it? <laughs> I do. Yeah. Yeah, I do. And it it's like you come to understand that you're always going to have a question because it's a question. It's probably the only question in the world that does not that no one could give you a definite answer yeah that's why I find it so interesting <laughs> to ask these, these questions because I always every conversation is different yeah. you know I mean I notice patterns and things like that but everyone's got different circumstances and you know um, different experiences yeah. it's very interesting so, so, so it leaves us all to speculate because like the only people that can tell us what happens after this life are the people that are not here yeah like this life right now yeah so do you, do you feel like, um, you, have you experienced the supernatural? Something that's... I, I don't feel like uh, I've experienced the supernatural. Have God experienced it? Or... Uh, maybe in, in moments, like in moments and circumstances of karma. Yeah. And karma and the, not even just karma, but the flip side of karma being the, the flip side of karma is the upside of consequence. So, 
trying to kill me now. So. Good for you. Yeah, the, the good fortune. And the, the, the stuff that comes right when you need it, or when you don't know you need yeah. it, but you do. Yeah. Those, are, those, I guess, are the moments that I, I yeah. associate with having for me, for moments me it's of not, interaction with a guy. Yeah, it's not like... Um, it's not like miracles I can point to that someone else would say, "Wow!" It's yeah, like, it's more like it, it's the, it the happens to me. Here thing. comes your bus. Are you you're gonna? That's your bus. Right? Oh yeah, that is. I want to give you something to read. Uh, you know, oh, that I think you you might like. Do you like to read? I do. Okay, I'm gonna give you that. And, uh, On here, halfway down, right there is my YouTube channel. Okay. Um, I would love to talk more, by the way, and so my number's on there. You can call me. Um, and uh, but it'll take me a few days. I have a couple other videos I got to post. Um, but uh, let me know what you think of it. Absolutely. All right. All right. Take care. Take care. All right. Uh, eight, five, seven, eight, nine.